You're watching Alaska's Weather Source. Savor that summer scene. I know there's clouds. It's been cool. It's been a cool, cool summer for the whole state of Alaska. But you do see these types of scenes. That gives it a little reprieve, doesn't it? That is a beautiful double rainbow. And by the way, that second rainbow, um, the colors are reversed a lot of times. So uh, you'll see the first rainbow with that stacking of colors, but then it's just the opposite. And that second rainbow, nonetheless, what a beautiful display out of Marshall, Alaska. Thank you to Catherine Isaac for sharing that with us. Now we go to the weather and what is happening. The nitty gritty is it's pretty unsettled still across the state. We still looking at some wet weather keeping those river levels high into the uh, northern portion of the state. And thunderstorms expected to blossom as the uh, daytime continues to go into the afternoon and evening. And we'll see that uh, mainly north of Fairbanks, but one could drift across the city or nearby. Then we go to the Bering Strait, where southwest winds associated with the front that'll be swinging in out of the Arctic. We'll pick up those winds to 40 miles per hour and water levels are set to go to two to three feet above the high tide line with this high surf advisory. It starts at 10 p.m. and will go through Thursday morning for the Bering Strait and the southern slopes of the Seward Peninsula. And as we mentioned, more rainfall expected this week uh, through the Brooks Range is, it, is likely to keep these uh, water levels, creeks, streams, even rivers, low-lying areas, High. So also the Sag River is also dealing with that ongoing flood warning as that washout continues at milepost 401 to 407. Here's a look at your current temperatures and conditions, wet weather, cloudy skies across the west as that storm front approaches. It's still 65 and fairly warm around Fairbanks, 50 in Dead Horse. Ukiapik finally warming up there at 57. That's just a couple of degrees warmer than we are here in the Anchorage area. 54 is our current temperature with 50s showing up in Talkeetna over toward Golcana, Valdez, parts of the Kenai Peninsula too. But there are still some 40s, high 40s in Wasilla and Cordova just in the last hour. So here's the forecast. We'll see this area of low pressure push in, kind of peter out into the interior. Then this low will also uh, swing a front in. That keeps the west coast cloudy and on the wet side, winds will pick up too. And then you probably noticed it into the Gulf of Alaska, the swing and rotation of another area of low pressure brings rain to the north Gulf Coast, the Panhandle Thursday into Friday. Anchorage is kind of on the edge of that. So coastal areas to our south, they're likely, more likely to see some of that wet weather. Here's a look at your forecast heading into our day tomorrow. We'll expect to see Fairbanks remain in the 60s, but the temperature's coming down. But there's a warming trend coming for them into the coming week. Southeast Alaska, spotty showers, uh, but the rain arriving Thursday. So you still have Wednesday before that occurs, but just wanted to get the mention in that it's uh, coming your way Thursday as well as Friday. Our high temperatures across the Kenai Peninsula should be into the 50s, overnight lows into the 40s, so nothing freezing and highs even up to 61 for Golcana. Winds out of the southeast 15 miles per hour. It looks like winds won't uh, exceed 15 miles per hour in that part of the state. There'll be variable winds up to 10 miles per hour for Wasilla and Palmer, but Anchorage, especially near the inlet and along the hillside, will continue to see some winds primarily out of the south 10 to as much as 35 miles per hour at times. And we've even seen a 33 mile per hour gust so far today. Now for our Wednesday, we're looking at a high of 57, but then we jumped to 59 by Thursday, Friday, we could break that 60 degree threshold and keep it there as we go through the weekend. Sunday, by the way, Father's Day. And so, you know, you wanna have some decent weather for your dad. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah.